Sir St. Felix, and today I'll show you how you can use Acrobat Sign to send agreements via SMS with your Twilio account. So let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Power Automate, and for the purpose of today's demo, I'll be using Power Automate to make the different API calls to get my agreement, send it out for signature, and use a Twilio action to send it via SMS. So we'll start from the top. This will be a manually triggered flow, but you can always use a, an automated trigger if you wanted. And the first thing I'll be doing is initializing a variable where I'm going to hold the cell phone number. After I have my cell phone number that I want to send the agreement to, I'll be using this next step, which is a get file content using path. This is a template that I'll be using for the agreement that is located on my SharePoint site. These next four steps all pertain to Acrobat Sign. So the first thing I'll do with this template is I will upload this template to Acrobat Sign. This is by using the upload a document and get a document ID action. And we'll give it a name and then you'll need to add the body uh, for the file content from the previous step. Then I'll go ahead and create the agreement. And I'll be using the create an agreement from an uploaded document and send for signature action. So here I've given it a name. I'm grabbing the document ID, which I can retrieve from my previous step. And then over here, I have my participant email. Now, even though I'm using email, I still will be sending this agreement via SMS. Anytime you send an agreement via Acrobat Sign, it does require an email, uh, but we give you the flexibility of being able to capture the signing URLs so you can send it via SMS or a different method. This next step is a trigger, which is called when an event occurs. And so what I wanna do here is I wanna wait for the agreement to be sent. So I've given it a name, agreement sent, and the scope is a specific resource. My resource type is agreement, and then my resource ID will be the agreement ID. Now I can use this last step, which is the retrieve the signing URL. And all I need here is just the agreement ID. This retrieve the signing URL will be an object that I'm going to pass into this compose step. And so here I have my body for my input, and then I'm gonna parse this uh, JSON object by putting in the output as my content for my compose step. And then this is the actual schema where I can locate the signing URLs. You can see that I have some nested arrays already in here. And the actual URL that I want is this eSign URL. So once I have my schema in place, I'm going to open up these apply each conditions. And this will be done by selecting or using the select action. What I'm doing here is I want to grab the signing URLs and so I'm using the signing URLs from my parse JSON object or for my parse JSON action and I want that eSign URL so by adding this select action it will add these apply to each actions automatically because it's going to traverse through the signing URL set infos array and the signing URL array just to get to that eSign URL. So now that I have this eSign URL, I can use it in my last two steps. This bit.ly step is optional. Uh, I just wanted to shorten the URL, so that's why I've added this eSign URL uh, data point from my select uh, action. And then I am now using my Twilio action to add my cell phone number, which I have specified initially. And then I have my bit.ly my bit my bit link URL for the actual signing URL. And here I can add some text uh, to customize the message. So now I have all this created, let's go ahead and run the flow. So we'll go ahead and I have my cell phone here and I'm going to run So here I am now running the flow, and we'll talk through these steps again really fast. 
So I have my cell phone number, I'm grabbing my template, and now that template has been uploaded to sign, an agreement has been created, and we're waiting for the agreement to be sent. And now it's been sent, the sign URLs um, are available, and here I have on the right hand side, the actual SMS. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And here's the actual agreement. And so now I can actually come in and sign this agreement via SMS on my, on my mobile device. So here's a template that I'm using, and then here I can sign. So I'll go ahead and sign my name. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.